Rolle, rolle, rolle mein Schneckenbändchen, roll, roll es auf. Rolle, rolle, rolle mein Schneckenbändchen, bald ist die Schnecke im Haus. Hi, it's me, Josephine, and today it's all about snail bands. What you just heard was a German way to sing while the child is rolling up the snail band or while you do it. It is about roll, roll, roll my snail band, roll, roll, roll it up, roll, roll, roll my snail band, soon the snail will be in its house. And that's kind of what I was singing. And if you have never heard about snail bands, they are really really great in different ways because of course open-ended tie <laughs> so we're storing them here in a basket with some other things what you can use in kind of similar ways like you this felted long ropes here we have our snail bands and in what way are kids using those snail bands so sometimes i see Kids rolling them just up and then they roll them back and they enjoy that a lot. And I also see kids sometimes using them to make a straight by putting two next to each other and then the car drives through it. I also saw how kids use them to decorate and I also saw it being a scarf. I saw it to make a knot and something and pull it behind. I also saw it being a belt of a custom. I saw it to hold up fabric on the head and I saw it in so many different ways. So I really, really think that your child has even more ideas than I just had. They can be so much. What are snail bands made out of? That is just depending on what you like to make them out of. This one here is made out of cotton in the middle and outside it's hemp. This one here is wool in the middle and outside it's cotton, what makes it very easy for kids to roll it up because the wool kind of connects and like you see, this one stays together, this one doesn't. This one here, is also in the middle cotton and outside hemp. Of course you could use also different materials and you don't have to do it at all like that. You can do it in one color if that is easier for you. I did here first the middle and then I used the different color and went just all the way around that's the exact way how I did it also with the other ones. What length should a snail band have? I'm just rolling this up completely so you can see. This is pretty long, but still not too long. I would say that this is around one meter and a half. maybe a little bit shorter. It really depends on how long do you want to make it. A lot of people use that to just use off what they have left on fabric because you can make it in so many colors, it can be just completely a rainbow. And kids love rainbows, <laughs> at least the ones I have here. You could also let kids do it by themselves if they are in an age where they can already crochet. They are all crocheted, but of course, if crochet is absolutely nothing for you and you say, but I can knit, I don't think that it really matters if they are knitted or crocheted, like I just said. Rainbow is a big thing here. I have here 100% cotton in rainbow. And now I'm just gonna make one of those snail bands 
but in just one color. So I start the way you usually start when you want to crochet, holding it like this. Go here inside. The needle you use is the one that fits to the thickness of your thread. This one here is number three. You can either start like this. I don't really like to do it that way. I love to use as less as possible. So I want to have it a little shorter at the end. And I guess it would also work if you go this way, but I usually go the length and go back and go forward and go back. How wide should be a snail band? That also absolutely depends on what you want to do. I think if you are planning to do more than one, it would be great to have them in different widths and to just find out what do you kids play with? What do they like? Because every person is different and maybe they can also figure out different things depending on how wide it is or how long it is. And it will be more open-ended if there are different ones. This is a very, very cheap Waldorf toy. It is really great. It is not very complicated to make. So what I'm doing, if you don't know how to crochet, is I am taking the thread and going through, taking the thread, going through it. So it is really not very complicated. If you're interested, I can make another video where I'm explaining exactly how to crochet. And the good thing is that this also usually, depending on how fast you are, does not take very long. This is also something you can easily do in front of the TV. In the evening, if you are relaxing or if you're against TVs, you can easily do it while your child is playing. This is what I love to do because I'm very flexible walking around with that. I also like to take this outside. It is very easy to take it outside and let the kids run maybe outside on a forest playground or just through the nature. And you can easily watch them and lay this down and you don't lose so much and you don't have to count so much if you do something like a snail band like you would have to do it when you are knitting. Of course you could count how many you are making here but I have never done that so it really does not matter. At least not if you're just making a snail band. This is how it looks so far like a rainbow. The girls will go crazy about that. If you don't have any leftover wool and you're buying some just to make that, then I highly recommend to go with your child and let your child choose. I always try to make this first row, this first line here, not too tight, so I'm able later to go inside with my needle and add the next line, the next row, or how you would like to call it. So this one goes now from my arm to the other one, so from, my, from one hand to the other one. That's the length I have right now. That's a length I really like, but because the other ones are all kind of this length, I make this one now a little bit longer, just to experiment a little bit and see what the kids do with it. So I have reached now a length I really like. Just taking a double. Hope you can see it. Is this length. And I believe that this length would be great that even the bigger one can use it as a rope to also jump with it. And I'm really excited what the kids will do with that. So now I am. Um, Having it like this and I just go back on the other side 
So there is one in between left. I show you again. So like this, and I do not go here in this first one where I just came out and I go in the second one and then I have those two like that and this way I go now always in the next take it out and oh, you can't see it's, it's different Here inside and the next. And this way, I'm going all the way back and to the other end again. Okay, this is how it looks like now. Usually, I go all the way back and then I go again all the way back and again all the way back if I do it in just one color. Or what I do too is I have it just like this. And I make it a little bit thicker and go a few times up and, and down and then I take a different color and go all around. And I guess that is enough to explain you how the whole thing works. I hope you liked that video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and of course give this video a thumbs up and let me know what kind of ways do your kids play with a snail band and how long do you usually make the snail band? Please let me all of those things know in the comments down below. I'm so sure that other parents really appreciate to read your comments. Now I wish you a beautiful time and I see you in my next video. Goodbye!